Hi Sag, this is Aqua Goddess. I hope that you all are having a beautiful night. I'm here to give you your general energy reading. Please keep in mind that this reading will be for past, present, future, and it may or may not resonate with you. I've already prayed and meditated over your energy, so we're just going to go ahead and tap right in. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides most high, please protect me and my collective as I channel these messages for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Note. Please return all negative energy back to sender, 20 million foe, and anyone out there showing me love, much love and light to you. Also, if you're new to my channel, welcome and thank you for being here. Be sure to join the family. I would love to have you. Make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel to be notified for your future readings. If you are returning, welcome back, family. Thank you so much for your love and support. Wow. So, Sag, um, you could be going through a no contact situation with your person right now. And you guys are both missing each other when you're not around one another. So you could definitely be thinking about, about this person a lot and it's because they're thinking about you. This person, you know, they're looking at the bigger picture. They love you. And they know you're worth it. They feel like they can't let you get away. You know, they miss you. They haven't talked to you like you haven't talked to them. And it's like, they want a confirmation. They want to talk. They want to talk. But it's like, you could feel like it's pointless with this person. You feel like you tried already. And even though you miss them, you refuse to go through the same cycle one more time. Like, it, it's just, you just can't do it. Like, so, you know, it's like you guys both love each other. Y'all got feelings for each other. But you feel like this person then took you through too many cycles, the same cycles. And like, it's like fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, can't put the blame on you. And that's the energy you hold in right now. So I see you moving forward away from somebody that you really care about. Because it's like y'all can't get past a certain point with each other. They said you're not going anywhere. <laughs> this is what they're saying. So this person feels like they're they're not going to let you get away. They refuse. So if this is something that you're not wanting, you may definitely have to move, <laughs> change your phone number, you know, uh, get a restraining order. I don't know. Because this person is saying that they're not leaving. So, if you guys, like, you may have lived with this person at some point, you know, and, like, it's weird that y'all not in the same house, you know. Um, they could definitely be having some issues, like, they don't want to move out, you know, or they just don't want to let you go. They definitely feel like you're very confident and that turns them on about you because it's like they know you miss them. They absolutely know you miss them, but they also know that you're not going to be the first person to reach out either. If you even answer the phone when they call you like that type of energy. They feel like the chemistry too strong. It's too much history, too many memories. Like, y'all can't just be friends. And so, you feel like, you know, the same thing. Like, but it's like, also, a part of you feel like 
this person try to play you so bad that you can't even you even though you really want to you can't you can't even do it like you gotta leave them in the past wow it's like the chemistry is there but the communication is not like you know, and then also, like, yeah, the honesty, the truth, the certainty, like, that is missing from this connection. And this is the reason why you got to keep it moving. It's like, you know, and I feel like. You're going to keep it moving, but you're not really ready for no titles with nobody else. You're not in a situation where you want to jump from that situation into a whole nother commitment. It's like you want to just take your time and do you for a minute. You know, be free. Focus on you. Like... What is this person hiding? What are they trying to get away with? What are they trying to get away with, spirit? So, definitely it could be some times where you, like I said, you might ask this person, like, like, where you was at? Like, why you ain't come home? Or why you ain't been answering? Why you been gone for three days and I don't know? Or not even just in an insecure way, but just in a curious way. Like, because this thing happened a couple times. It's kind of like a cycle at this point. And so it's like they sabotaging something. They always sabotage it and then want to come back and work on it. Because it's like you, you so confident. You so boss-like. They not comfortable with you really being all the way free. So they'll sabotage some things by trying to run the streets, but then come back and try to work on it. Like over and over and you sick of it. Does you feel like this person ran out of time when it comes to you? Yeah, but this person is trying to prevent this ending. You could have even told this person like, okay, we can be friends, but I don't. Like, no, if I can keep being in this connection with you. But then it's like they come back towards you with this unconditional love, gaslighting energy, you know. And uh, next thing you know, no, uh uh. I see you falling in love with somebody new. Tell me about this new person. So this new person definitely could have let go of a karmic relationship, you know, and started loving you, started investing in you, going on, on dates with you. But they're not going to be ready for a title super quick because they want to go with the flow. They already got out of some type of karmic relationship with somebody that's jealous and angry and toxic but it's like, with you, you make them happy. Y'all enjoy each other's company, you know. And it's a sense of oneness. Like, almost like you've known this person before. So it could be a past life connection. This person is replaying the events that they went through in this past relationship. So this person definitely does need some time to still heal. But they definitely enjoy your company. Um, and they just want to take things slow. What is this new person's intentions towards the, uh, towards Sag? What is this new person's intentions towards my Sag? Well, um, it's a couple different things. I gotta be all the way honest with you. So, you know, uh, 
like, this person ain't going to be st stable for real. You know, with them leaving this karmic relationship, they could have lived with this person, you know, and they leaving their they actual whole house right now. So they could down there be like, they could, it could be a situation where they never invite you over. And like you always go over their house and it's because they live in a hotel right now or something like that. Or they stay with a family member right now. They're going to not really tell you all that up front. Um, you know, they're probably going to lie because they don't either. They don't feel like they know you like that to tell you that much information or they don't see this connection going that far where they would need to tell you that much. Plus, you could be in a situation where you're very stable. You got your own house, your own car, your own job, right? And they could just come over to your place, right? Okay, what else is this new person? Yeah, they just, they're grieving a breakup. Um, you know, this is a recent separation. It's not going to be long after this person separates from this karmic that they're going to meet you. But I'm hearing they're going to love you. Uh, they're going to fall in love with you. You got that twice here. Um, this person feels like you're much different than their past person and that you help them grow. There's a feeling of expansion um, that you bring with this person. So it's like they got outdated thinking because I feel like you're the type of person that they could just be honest about like they situation with because I'm seeing that you're going to be the type of person that's going to help them get things in order. Like, so it's like, they got to lose this mentality that they got to be perfect when they meet you. Cause that's not the case. You're not asking for nobody to be perfect. You just asking for somebody to be true. Like, you know, what other messages do we have for my Sag? I'm hearing that some of y'all, for this new person, you may take this person out or they could take you out for a drink or something. And it's like y'all got all these different choices and drinks, I'm hearing. And you guys might get lit. So this person can actually uh, like be kind of closed off. And then it's like y'all could get lit, literally. And... All of a sudden, this person let the cat out the bag on you. Like, they start being affectionate, touchy-feely, and get courage out of nowhere. Even though they've been holding back because they've been hurt. Like, they, I feel like that's when the ice, when y'all gonna break the ice. And be careful, because I said break the ice, and I see the Empress card with the devil. So, uh, be careful because, yeah, like somebody could get pregnant as well. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hearing the conversation going to be so deep, like, and you're going to be so lit or this person or both of y'all. I don't know. It's like one thing led to another. Be careful because you might be pregnant. Like, <laughs> But I see this person going to be opening up. They're going to gain the courage to open up. Because you got this nurturing, healing energy about you. Right? Like, could be dealing with a Leo, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Taurus. Yeah. All right. So those are the messages that I have for you today, Sag. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonates with your story, please be sure to like and subscribe. Also, guys, if you're interested in personal readings, donating to the channel, um, purchasing any manifestation, jewelry, or artwork, that information will be in our description box below. Much love and light. Peace.